garden. The room looks lovely. Oh, thank you, sir. I wanted to bring the garden into the house. After all, what's a wedding without flowers? Uh, that's very true. Uh, but this is going to be a simple ceremony, just a few essential guests. The only important thing today is that Brenda and I exchange our vows in the presence of a minister. And of God, sir. Well, yes, of course. Him, too. <laughs> Brenda, where are you going? Go. On your wedding day? No, I've got to go. I've got to see Dan. Brenda, Brenda, this, this is the happiest day of your life. No. Let me go. You don't know what you're saying. Uh, you know what? You have a case of the wedding day jitters. Doesn't she, Mrs. Verdon? Oh, the worst I've ever seen. You just need to relax, Brenda. You need to trust me. You do trust me. I only want what's best for you. Why are you doing mm -hmm. that to me? Doing what? Marrying you? <laughs> because I love you. You don't love me. You don't love anybody. You don't love anything. I know you. I know you, and I don't want you. I want... Brenda! No. Brenda! Brenda! Listen to me, listen to me. Listen to Michael. Dan mm. has a life of his own now, and you're not a part of that life. Have you forgotten that, hmm? Remember he told you, look at Michael, he told you to follow your own heart, didn't he? Yes. I'm following my heart. Following my heart is telling me wrong. Oh is wrong. I, uh, I know. I know what I have to do. No, Brenda. <laughs> I know what you have to do, too. I know what you have to do. You have to sit down and pull yourself together. Right? Just sit down and, and, and rest. That's right. That's right. That's right. Okay? Mrs. Verdon... I think we need a double dose of Brenda's vitamins. Mr. Grant, are you sure? Are you questioning me? Oh, no, sir, but a double dose. I overheard Mr. Carlson say that if you weren't careful, this drug could prove to be fatal. There's nothing to fear, Mrs. Burton, as long as you do precisely as I say. Get another skin patch, please. Brenda, we don't want you, we don't want you to worry, all right? Why You're going I... to be just fine. Why shouldn't I worry? You whisper. You tell secrets. Well, once we're married, there will be no secrets between us. We are going to share everything. Everything? Everything. No. Our son, our child. Yes, that's what you want, isn't it, darling? You want you and Stephen and Michael to be a family, a real family. Mother! Brenda, are you okay? No, no. no. Whoa, 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 calm down, calm down. Tell me what's wrong. Uh, uh, nothing to be alarmed about, Tyler. Your sister's uh, having a little anxiety attack. Little? Michael, this doesn't look little to me. Well, Don't you okay. leave me. I won't, I promise, I won't. I'm right here. Take it easy and tell me what's wrong. Uh, really, Tyler, it, it's nothing. It's, uh, when... Michael, if you don't mind, I'd like to hear it from Brenda, okay? <laughs> Don't be. I'm right here. I'm not going anywhere. Oh, I have Brenda's vitamins. Uh, Mrs. Verdon, this is Tyler, uh, Brenda's brother. Uh, he's very concerned about Brenda's behavior this morning. I was explaining Wait, wait. What's this about vitamins? No, I don't want any no, vitamins. No, no, well, well, now, well, Brenda, well. Brenda, you're, you're being silly. Mrs. Verdon, would you... Uh, would you show Tyler the uh, vitamin bottle? Brenda? Brenda? What? It's okay. It's all right. They're just plain old vitamins, okay? It's all right. Same kind I take every morning. There. Well, you, you, you see? Uh, Mrs. Verdon, okay. uh, perhaps a massage would, uh, would ease some of Brenda's tension. Oh, yes, sir. Come, Brenda, come. Come on, sit down. Okay. It's all right. Come on. Come on, sit down. I'll you take your vitamins. There. Yeah. For your own good. There you go. There. 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 Let's 
feel better now, don't you? No, it's not just today, Michael. All week. Every time I've seen her, Brenda's looked weaker and weaker. I am not convinced that she's up to go through with this way. I... I understand your concern, Tyler. Let's sit uh... I'll tell you what. Why don't we ask the bat? Fine. Uh, Brenda, Tyler is uh, not so sure that you are feeling well enough to, uh, to go through the ceremony. I say it's your choice. I know that you love me. Yes, I love you. And I want to marry you today. Now, wait, Brenda. If you're not feeling well, you don't have to no, get through with this. I want to. I love Michael. And we're going to be happy. Is that why you came here? Wish us luck? Hmm? Brenda, you know, I, I wish you nothing but luck and happiness. But still, it's... You wouldn't say it. There's something wrong. Oh, not on my way. Hey, please, uh, not, not today. Right, that's right, nothing to get upset about. Tyler wouldn't want that, would you? Of course not. Mm. Brenda, it's just... What? Well, I do have some bad news, though. Pa called from Arizona, and he's not going to be able to make it to the wedding. He couldn't get anyone to cover for him. He's too short of notice. That's okay. I mean, you're here. <laughs> And she can walk me down the aisle. And it's uh, my family. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's what you really want. Mm -hmm, it is. Well, now that we've uh, solved that crisis, maybe you'd better get home and uh, get your clothes changed for the ceremony. Uh, Mrs. Burden will uh, go make sure that Brenda has plenty of rest. Come on. Before you know it, you'll be saying, I do. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, great. I finally found you. Listen, you gotta help me. There's something wrong with Brenda. Why is she wondering how to spend Michael's million? No, man, come on. Listen to me here. My sister's in trouble. And you're the only person I can turn to. I went to Grandview this morning. Right, are you asking me to help Brenda? Yes. What do you think I've been trying to do? Again and again, I have tried. I have gone over to Grandview two times. And every time she sent me home. Look, I have banged my head against the stone walls of Grandview long enough. I can only shed so much blood for your sister. You got that? Dan, I know you're angry and bitter, okay? But I wouldn't come here and ask you this if I didn't think Brenda was in serious trouble. Maybe even danger, okay? No, I can't prove it on my own. But with your help, maybe Ty, we look, 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 Ty, please. There is nothing else that I can do. If you think that there is something wrong with your sister, find somebody else. Yeah. I surrender. I quit. No more, Ty. Is that clear? Crystal. Oh, just one more thing. If I'm right, and she really is in danger, how are you going to live with yourself, huh? Yes, sir. The double dose of vitamins made it all right. Good. Now you go upstairs and you stay with her until it's time to come down in the wedding gown? Yes, sir. Well, if it isn't the blushing bridegroom. That'll be all, Mrs. Verdon. I'm about to have a house full of wedding guests. And me, without an invitation. After all we've meant to each other, Michael? What do you want? Well, for starters, 